Welcome to this .CMS website training for how to upload a file or image and add it to a web page. In .CMS, I have a web page that I would like to add a, a link to a document that I need to upload to it. And so I need to edit my page to lock it. And then I need to go to my container of content on the page and edit that as well to lock it. And select that lock for editing button once I get in there. And now I have um, some text on the page here. Let me get it into a more functional uh, state. We're going to say that this sentence of text I would like to add a new hyperlink to. So I'm going to select the text to make the link. I'm going to select the insert edit link button. And then I'm going to select the uh, folder with the spyglass button as I'm going to upload a file to my web, uh, my web page. I'm going to, this opens the select a file window and I need to select the plus symbol, go to my website uploads files folder and select the upload new file button. Then I need to select files to upload from the upload files window. This will take me to my computer files where I can select the document that I would like to upload and click the open button. This then shows the uh, document that's being prepared for publishing and I need to take an action. Uh, just as a reminder, you always want to select save and publish for all files and images. Do not select the save button. If you do that and you attempt to publish your web page, your file or image will not get published at the same time. It will remain in an unpublished state in the back end of .CMS. So while it might not seem intuitive, you always want to select save and publish to prepare your file for that publishing process. The likelihood that somebody will search exactly for this particular file name in a search engine is probably unlikely. So it's all right uh, for a short period of time to have that save and publish uh, process be uh, the option that you select for. Once you have save and publish selected, then you need to select the execute button. And now your document should be ready to select to add to your content. And as a reminder, you need to insert a title or hover text for this particular document so people will have a frame of reference for what they will be uh, downloading when they click on that link. So this would be test document and we'll say revised so that they understand what they're opening and we can click the OK button. And now my link is showing here with my document linked to it. Uh, the hover text is showing as test document revised. Now the process is the same for uploading an image to a web page. I'm going to put my cursor on the screen where I would like that image to appear. I'm going to select the insert edit image button and also choose that folder with the spyglass option. Same select a file window. I'm going to go to my website uploads and images folder this time. And I'm not seeing that image that I want, so I need to upload new file. This will bring you to select files to upload, take you to your computer files to select the image you want to upload. Click open. Your image will information will load here. You will do the all important save and publish as your action and click the execute button. And it's just taking a moment for it to upload the file. For several moments. Gotta love the system. I apologize for the delay here. So once this image actually loads, then you will be able to make the required uh, changes to um, the dimensions that you might need to resize it to appear on your web page. You can add a caption if you need to. And you can select that image now that it's actually um, uploaded. 
I mentioned here, you can select for the resizing of the image that you might need to have it appear on the page. You need to insert an image description for those who are using a screen reader. So this would be cyclists riding at sunrise, period. If you want to include a caption, you can select that option and then type your caption into the space and click the OK button. And then your image is appearing on the screen here. And that's how you go through the process to upload a file or upload an image in .CMS.